Hello everybody, this is Fino, and we are back, cowering behind a coffee table. Um, yeah. Previously, we need to search this room, and we need to search it well, and we need to figure out what's going on, and... There's a giant phantom dickhead in there, and he's trying to stop us. So, we are... We're going to try to sneak around him. Just going to hide in here. He doesn't seem to alert. Repairs needed. Please contact a qualified engineer. He doesn't seem to patrol this room. So we should be okay. Ooh, computer, start. Planning to go on a vacation, go somewhere you love or try something new. Familiar. System alert. Repair is needed. We never got to answer this one. Please wait. I think we broke it. The typical interrogation suspect portrayed in the entertainment media is stubborn, clever, or even arrogant, and Entering into a verbal sparring match with the interrogating officer, while this makes for good drama, it's poor representation of actual cases. It is important to note that a majority of suspects won't talk, want to talk. Let them. Provide some prompts, but only keep the words flowing. Do not attempt to direct them, but just keep them talking. My experience in case studies back this that has been most people move toward the information you want to know if you just listen to them and reaffirm their assumptions when they need it. Psychological risk. Studies show that there's a significant likelihood of behavioral conditions and psychiatric disorders emerging among population of crew stationed for longer than three months. Impacts of behavioral issues are minimized with appropriate tools for monitoring mood and predicting risk while including as many Earth-like amenities and re recreations as possible. All right. Ooh. Trash can. Filing cabinets. Creepy pictures. All's the loot. Alright, so we got utilities. Trinstar, quick behavioral assessment for factor analysis for correct drift assessment data should be gathered repeatedly for the same subject over time. Ooh, begin test. Okay. New test started. Okay. Good morning, Talos. Our resident counselor, Dr. Cole, would like to encourage anyone experiencing symptoms of disturbed sleep, chronic stress, or anxiety to schedule an appointment in the trauma center. So there is no test. Seems to be broken. Files. All right. My concern with Dr. Calvino is increasing. Her symptoms have escalated from memory loss and occasional disorientation to delusions and paranoia. His increased agitation in the session has given me cause to take issue up with Alex during our next debriefing. I don't know where I'm transferring this to, but we're doing it. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Uh, nothing at first. I don't want to turn it on, but I can't help it. I have to turn it on. When I do, it's like the heart of a black hole. An immense darkness. System alert. Repair is needed. Please contact the in the light. black. I catch glimpses, edges of the shape. I feel as though it wants to come through onto my side. 
off the glass before it sees me, but I always wait before I can. What does it look like? The shape in the glass? I, uh, nothing. Does it look like this image here? Dr. Calvino, does it look like this? No. No, 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 that's... No, I, I don't... Um... Are you sure? Uh, where did you get that drawing? Have you been spying on me? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hmm. Sarah's hostilities toward me continue unabated. The distance it creates makes it difficult for me to address her issues of anxiety and distrust. Some of her answers today did lend me a bit of... Oh. System alert. Repair is needed. I really hope he can't see me. Okay, he's gone. Whew! Might be able to use in the future sessions to get her to open up some more. Sassy. Eyes, Forgive me, but your name is Sarai in the file. We've been over this. My mother Americanized it. Will we be spending the next 59 minutes like this? Because we could cut it short right now. We hmm. discussed your mother. I thought perhaps today we could speak more about the career choices that were born of that. Serving in the military wasn't an excuse to get away from her nagging, Matt. I was <laughs> just... Restless. And you're better now? Not restless? I'm fine. Because your last tour of duty was the evacuation, and reports from there... I saved as many as I could. For every soldier we lost, we were able to save a hundred civilians. Yes. Tragic. Still, to lose soldiers under your command... The cost was worth it, both in lives and the unification of the region. Taking on a losing battle like that... Fighting, not enemy troops, but the equivalent of a natural disaster. It wasn't natural, it was man-made. Ooh, interesting. Dr. Cole. Because this station, it's the same thing, a disaster waiting to happen. We are well-trained and poorly equipped. The research is dangerous. Keeping secrets secret is dangerous. I'm sure you would agree. Hmm. Shit went down here. Oh, hit wrong button. All right. Daniel exhibits relentless angers toward authority generally and you specifically. A few gentle questions sent her on a tirade that ended up her storming out of the office. I wouldn't be surprised if she tried to just skip these meetings for the rest of her tenure here on Talos. Well, let's find out why. Uh oh. Any new relationships? No. I thought you and Miss Foy, the sanitation engineer, were sitting together. She's a sanitation boss, and we're not in a relationship. Not anymore. Ah. And this separation, did it involve anger? Issues with authority? Screw this. I'm done. Report me to the U's. I don't care. You're putting the station at risk, just like Transtar North, and just like on Earth's side. You assholes will bury it with your psych about bullshit. And another thing. Huh. <laughs> Damn. Have my people been coming to you? Hey, Matt. Just had another one of my people present a signed note from you for fatigue. I just want to make sure that it's legit. Are there a lot of people coming to you with stress-related complaints, or is it my imagination? I don't know how... Matthias, I don't know how to tell you this. He walked into an experiment without a psycho psychoscope and went sideways. We couldn't contain it after that. They controlled him. My suspicion is that is the Typhon came can force other beings to empathize with them. Maybe further down the road we can find a way to reverse engineer this, get them to empathize with us. Please keep Mr. Young in quarantine for the time being. Please keep staff away from the quarantine area. We have potentially contagious subject in there suffering from memory loss at this time. Dr. Cole and myself have access. Boom. There's our password we needed. So 
now, we just need to get out of this hellhole alive. I want to see if there's anything else. You saw nothing. Uh-oh. 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 No, no, no. So we got our key code. Got all kinds of lore and now we're off. So we can go get into the room. I'm assuming that was the key code for this. It was not. What the hell was my key code for? There's got to be a key code somewhere in that room. got to be in there. There's got to be a key card in there. Come on, keep walking. Keep walking. There is no key card. There's a door right there. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. Please don't come in. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, he saw me that time. Please don't come in. Please don't come in. Please don't come in. Just, just blink away. Just blink away, please. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit, there's somebody in there. We're not opening that door. It's 
Subject appears disoriented, paranoid, not sure how much a current behavior is due to incident versus his recent neuromod removals. Recommend continue observation. Uh, do we kill him? I say we go in and see what happens. Six, six, five, Really? There's nothing in here? <sighs> Diaries? Seven, three, two, four. All right, we're gonna take a picture of that. That seems like it is something, and we want to make sure we have that. I don't know what it is. D-I-V-R-I-E-S. We can't click on it. We can't take it. I want to take that hypo that's sitting there. But we got to get rid of two things to do it. Well, we could eat the apple. Drink those. Move that to there. And now, oh wait, I want to eat that. Not drop it. So I think we found everything we can in here. Run, 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 run. So I can't imagine that there's anything additionally in there. I think we have cleared it out pretty well. Um, at least I feel like I got to see everything in there. So now, let's head on over this way. All right, well, looks like we're not getting into there right now because I have no idea how to do it. So let's head on our merry way. Looks like we'll just head the way that we're supposed to be. Can't get into the security office.
So let's just head. I want more bullets. What's over here? This puts us right above that other room. Had to do it. Oh, fuck me! Did we kill him? Did we actually do it? We actually did it! Damn! Yeah, we're healing up after that. Oh, my heart has not been racing <laughs> so much in a video game in a very long time. This edition of Transstar Life Rising Star segment, we profile Harley Granger, a member of the Neuromod sales team who is currently stationed aboard Talos 1. Some of you might recognize Harley's name from his professional baseball days when he played second base in war number 66 for the Tornadoes. Harley was assigned to Talos two years ago and has made the journey into orbit and over back 50 times. Not bad for someone who is afraid of flying. My time playing baseball forced me to deal with that fear, he said. Believe it or not, a shuttle flight to Talos is far easier than a cross-country airliner trip. I don't believe it. Well, that's pretty. One email. What do we got? Exports. You can you can't ship it home. It's already been noticed. One month pay makes it go away. Marketing team internal memo. I don't think we have to worry too much about the side effects. From what I gather, it's just a little pinprick near the eye, right? I mean, it looks scary, but I think if we get advertising to push some of the more appealing pros of NMs, we can shift public attention from that. I'm not too worried about the red eye stuff either. I don't think anyone's person in the public sector is going to manage to get their hands on that many NMs at one time. Not at these prices. What I find more worrying, though, is all are these reports of memory loss during NM removal. I mean, amnesia? Seriously, we can rewire a person's brain, give them any skill we want, but we can't avoid resetting their head back to normal, back to the moment they got all the shit installed if we decide to take it out. If this leaks, it'll kill NM cells. Doesn't matter if you need specialized equipment and training to take one out. No one wants to risk losing years of their life just for the ability to speak French. This can't even go in the fine print as far as the customer is concerned. NMs are permanent. Ooh, interesting. <coughs> so they sold them as a permanent thing. Well, killing that dude got us four neuro mods, which is pretty great. Oh, fuck me. Die, 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 die. 
Oh, shit. Probably shouldn't be playing this game in the dark. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, crossbow. <gasps> Bolts. Need recycler. Takes up a lot of space. We don't need two goo guns. That's cool. Alright, well. Let's put the bolt caster where the pistol is. The Huntress Bolt Caster launches foam darts which does do zero damage, also known for its ability to annoy co-workers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. Remotely hit buttons and screens. Interesting. Warning, neuromods should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subjects may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness in the eye shortly afterwards. One, remove. And sealed container. I already read that. Okay, well. Didn't get nearly as much stuff through here as I was hoping. We got some cool stuff. I was hoping to kind of like get a hole or something in the ground that would just fall into the floor below. But that does not seem to be the case. There does not seem to be any holes. All right, well, I am now done trying to figure out how to get downstairs. We're just going to move on. Or not. Let's go in here. Ah, oh, this is where we came from. Okay. Okay, I'm figuring it all out. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to come recycle. Toss in all of the junk. We sort. Oh, here's all the material. Okay. Recycle. That's really cool. So now we just need a fabricator. Which we'd have to go back to our office to find, I think. I don't think we've seen an, another fabricator. Not that I can recall seeing anyway. I think we've only seen the one. And now we sit inside of a loading screen, waiting, just waiting for the day. Dun 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 da dun 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 da dun 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 These loading screens though are awful. Absolutely the worst. They actually make horizon seem quick, which is definitely saying something.
But like Horizon, they're in a game that is a lot of fun and great to play. And yeah, I mean, I, I have a hard time criticizing loading screens in a game that I'm enjoying. But they do kind of take you out of the, like, they take you out of the immersion of the game. All right. Is that our password? I wonder if that would work. Let's try it. Let's try our uh, 7324. Nope. Did not work. That password is going to open something, though. All right. Look at all this stuff. Like, we come back through a room and we still find more loot. I like that. Well, I like it and I hate it because now I feel like I'm missing things. Why am I so scared right now? So there are people still alive. Got our map. All right, so there's ballistics lab. Recyclers, there is no... Doesn't look like there's a lot on this floor. I don't like the scary noise. That scared the shit out of me. A lot of the station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Don't like the evil, scary talking. <laughs> I'm like so scared right now. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to fundamental mono Modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit, as Thomas Edison once said. We already read that. So there's something above us. A 
That's the only thing I can think of is that there's a bad guy up there somewhere. All I know is them talking is fucking scary as shit. And I do not like it at all. Ow! Well, that killed me. Oh shit. Do I have to goo it? Maybe I have to goo it. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. They make me. What? That's not cool. Ah, oh, fuck you! I did that so much better the first time! Typhon lure nightlight emits a psycholuminescent signal that entices Siphon to move toward the lure for a short period of time. Okay, cool. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. I don't have enough stuff to repair it anyway. So I died for nothing. Log every time you enter the maintenance crawl space or the access panel, blah, blah, blah. All right. Loot, how I love you. Oh, that's fire. That probably hurts, too. Considering everything in this fucking game is trying to kill me. Alright. Well, there's scary shit in that room, too. Probably scary. Oh. Calvino probably has a key card. You can locate him or what's left of him with the security roster. All right. Look at all this stuff we found. I'm very excited right now. All right. So we got to go hunt down his key, which is going to make us go backwards. Now we gotta go this way. Dun 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 Nope. Well, whatever it was, I don't know where it went.
All right, so he's in the arbitorium. Where are we? We are in. I don't understand what it wants me to do here. Use the security station. He's in the hardware labs. Apparently you can hunt these people down. Which is kind of cool. It's actually really cool. That was easy. Is that really a thing? We just run out there, find a person, come back? Yep. That it is. Well, I think I've been terrified enough for one night. Oh, cut the shit. Stop beeping. Yep, definitely been terrified enough for one night. We're gonna we're gonna come in here. We're gonna hide in this little security office where that mimic almost killed us. Thank you all very much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am. This game is turning out to be fantastic, and I am loving it. It is everything I wanted in a game like this that I did not realize that I wanted more of, and since Bioshock, and it's great. Thank you all very much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you come back soon for some more prey. Thank you all, and as always. Till the next video.